So by now we should be well used to straight line equations which have a y term, which have an x term and which are equal to a number, like 3y minus 2x equals 6. But not every straight line is in that form. Where a straight line has a gradient of 0, it will be horizontal and therefore the equation will be of the form y equals a number, such as y equals 6. And sometimes a straight line has a gradient which is undefined and that means it's vertical and those straight lines have an equation of the form x equals a number, such as x equals negative 1. Now on their own, horizontal and vertical lines are not conceptually difficult, but we must be careful when we're looking at medians and altitudes and perpendicular bisectors that we're always aware that horizontal and vertical lines can crop up. Let's for example consider triangle ABC. Now the median from A goes to the midpoint of the opposite side. The opposite side from A is BC, so the midpoint we would want to find would be point M. Now point M and point A already look like they're going to form a horizontal line to me. And if we look at the two coordinates, we can see they share a Y coordinate. So therefore in this case, the median from A to M is horizontal. And from looking at the two Y coordinates, we can see that the equation is simply Y equals 3. So in the following note, we'll see a little bit more about how to tackle these types of examples. Let's take a subheading of horizontal and vertical lines. Horizontal and vertical lines. Now it's arguable whether these are the easy case or whether they're actually slightly tricky because you have to spot it happening. But once you get used to the process and once you learn about it, you will you will see that actually these are quite straightforward. So we're going to say horizontal lines. Remember horizontal lines are lines that go across the way like the horizon. Horizontal lines have a gradient of, well remember gradient is, every time I go along one box, how many boxes do I go up? If it's horizontal, I go along one box, I go up zero boxes. So they have a gradient of zero and equations of the form y equals k and that's when k is just any real number okay so it'll be y equals 6 or y equals negative 1 or y equals 100 they're all they're all horizontal lines for vertical lines we say well, let's think about a vertical line, a line going straight up and down the way. If I think about the gradient of this line, every time I go along one box, how many boxes did I go up? Well, that's nonsensical because I can't go along one box. So for vertical lines, we say gradient is undefined. Doesn't have a gradient. So they have equations of the form x equals k. So a vertical line might be x equals 2 or x equals 5 or x equals negative 3. They're all vertical lines. So that's really National 5 concept wise. At higher, you have to know this. Whenever you see a vertical gradient, you have to write the words gradient is undefined or M is undefined. And we'll come to that in the, the examples we're going to cover. So I'm going to do a part A and a part B to this example. And I'm not numbering this because there isn't a specific part of the green booklet that goes along with this. It'll just come up sometimes. So we'll just call it example. And I'm going to say part A. A triangle has vertices J 
j, which is negative 4, negative 6, k, which is the point 6, 4, and l, which is the point 8, negative 1. Find the equation. of the median from L. That's example A. And example B is going to say a triangle has vertices E which is negative 3, negative 2, F, which is 1, 7, and G, which is 5, negative 2. And this example will be find the equation of the altitude from F. Okay, so let's do solution part A. Now you'll notice about these questions, there is nothing specifically to tell you that the answer is going to be a horizontal or a vertical line. There's nothing in there that says, oh, and by the way, this will be an X equals or a Y equals answer. So you have to spot that yourself. And the best way to do that is with a sketch However, we're going to follow our process as we do, because I have to assume that that's what you're going to do. When you see a median question, you're going to think this. It's find the equation of a straight line. Therefore, I need point. I need gradient. And I need equation. So we'll take those three headings. That gives us a starting point. Let's remember the definition of median. Definition is, a median goes where? A median goes to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now, it's the median from L. The midpoint of the opposite side from L. Well, the opposite side from L will be J and K. So I'm going to find the midpoint between J and K. Capital M for midpoint. Midpoint between J and K will be negative 4 add 6 is 2, half it is 1. Negative 6 add 4 is negative 2, half it is negative 1. So the midpoint between j and k is 1, negative 1. We'll take this up here. We'll use 1, negative 1 along with point L, which is 8, negative 1. And at this point, you might spot that these two points share a y-coordinate. And that should ring a wee bell for you. Okay, if they share a y coordinate, then I am going to get a zero in the gradient calculation. So m for my gradient will be negative one, subtract negative one, which is add one, over eight, subtract one. That works out to be zero over seven. And zero divided by anything can just simplify zero. If I've got a gradient of zero, then I know I have a horizontal line. So my median will be a horizontal line. However, in this case, we can just follow the example through. If we have a horizontal line, we can simply just follow through with y minus b. y minus b equals m brackets x take away a. That will become y subtract negative one, so y add one equals zero, x subtract a, which is one. That becomes y add one equals well, zero times by that bracket, just everything becomes zero. And my final answer is y equals negative one. Now, the more astute viewer will say, well, I knew that was gonna be the answer when I saw this. And that's absolutely fine. You can jump from here straight to that answer if you want to. 
If you're more comfortable following through the same process every time, that is equally valid. Okay, solution for part B is going to be a little bit different. For part B, it's find the equation of the altitude. So it's find the equation of a straight line. Point gradient and equation required. But this time, we have to think a little bit more carefully and I'll explain why and I'll explain how you know. So, the equation of an altitude. What do I know about an altitude? You should be saying to yourself, it's perpendicular to the opposite side. So the altitude from F is perpendicular to the opposite side. The opposite side will be EG. So I'm going to find the gradient first between E and G. E is negative 3, negative 2. G is the point 5, negative 2. So my gradient works out to be negative 2, subtract negative 2. That's negative 2, add 2. Over 5, subtract negative 3. Which is 5, add 3. So my gradient works out to be 0 over 8. Which is just 0. However, with an altitude, remember the gradient is perpendicular to the opposite side. So I want to find the perpendicular gradient. For that reason, I'm not going to simplify this to zero. If I simplify this to zero, then I can't do the negative reciprocal. If I leave it like this, then I can. So I'm going to say the perpendicular gradient is therefore negative 8 over 0. And at this point, with a zero on the bottom, can't divide by zero, that won't simplify we have to say, therefore, the perpendicular gradient is undefined. That has to be written. Perpendicular gradient is undefined. OK, let's follow this through. For an altitude, the point is point F, which is 1, 7. So I'm going to select point F, which is 1, 7. And at this point, we should probably have a little bit of a think about what that actually looks like. So let's just quickly sketch where these points are. E is negative 3, negative 2. F is 1, 7. G is 5, negative 2. So the altitude from F is the line from F, which meets this line at a right angle. I know F is the point 1, 7. I'm looking for this vertical line since that's horizontal. So I know the answer to this is going to be X equals 1. I can see it's a vertical line with an X coordinate of 1. And if you're comfortable doing that, you can just write X equals 1. Otherwise, we're going to have to do a wee bit of illegal maths. This is a way to check your answer. Uh, but it's not strictly mathematically correct. So we can just follow through the exact same process. As long as we don't try and simplify this, we'll do y equals b, y minus b equals m brackets x take away a. We will put in there y take away 7, as usual, equals negative 8 over 0, brackets x take away 1. Now this is the bit that's a bit dodgy can't really be multiplying through by something which is undefined. But following the process, you would say multiply the zero up to this side. That whole side will then become zero. That leaves me with minus eight times x minus one. Zero equals minus eight x add eight. Take the minus eight x over here. Eight x then equals eight. So x then equals one which is the correct answer. The equation of the altitude is x equals 1. However, we've done that wee bit of illegal maths and we can't leave that on our page. So this whole bit of working here can get crossed out. We did that just to check our work, but we don't want to leave it there. The answer is x equals 1.